everyone, I'm Celeste. Welcome to my channel. I wanted to film my birthday book haul tonight. I was trying to wait until I got my new bookshelf put up because one of my birthday gifts was a new bookshelf, but I didn't get it put up this weekend and I'm going out of town this week for work and so I wanted to go ahead and show the books because that's what you're here to see, right? Who cares about the shelf? So this is my birthday book haul. These are books that I got for my birthday. Uh, a lot of what it is, like gift cards, and then I buy what I want because people are scared to buy me books because I have so many books, and then I'm kind of picky about some books. Like if you get me like a, a mass market paperback uh, from like, you know, a drugstore, I'm not real pleased with that. Most people know that, so they don't bother to do that. They give me gift cards or they buy me specific books that I've put on a list. So, anyway, all of that. The first box that I want to go through are books that I got from Amazon, and then I have another box of books that I got from Book Outlet, because I love a good bargain, and I can't help myself. So, the New Year's resolution for trying not to buy books, not going so well in buying books. So, uh, the first book that I wanted to show is the, the Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, the first in this in this series. Um, I read all of the Percy Jackson books and I read part of the next set that he wrote and I read two out of the Chronicles of Cain and I love his writing and I know it's not written for me but I think it's just really well done. And then I also got the second book which the first one was The Sword of Summer, the second one is The Hammer of Thor and they're nice hardback books. They're so pretty. I just love, I just love these books. Then the next book I got was a pre-order that I forgot that I pre-ordered, and now there's all kinds of uh, controversy with it, but I, I'm kind of glad that I still bought it because I want to read it for myself and see what I think of all the controversy, and that is Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth, and I pre-ordered it because I read all the Divergent books, and I wanted to see what she was doing with her writing since then, and so I... Um, I wanted to see. I wanted to give her another chance, and, but I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of worried about things I'm hearing. And the um, the next book that I have to show is George R. R. Martin's Game of Thrones: The Graphic Novel, Volume One. And the reason that I have this one is because I bought Volume Three or Four on Book Outlet for cheap, and I was like, well, I can't have volume three or four and not have one and two and so on. And so I bought this with some of my birthday buy-in. And so I'm excited because I've read, I've watched Cur Up to Current on the show, and I've read all the books. I've even read some of the stuff that he's posted on LiveJournal. So I feel like this is this will be good, kind of... Uh, get me through until I finally get my hands on that other book because I love the show, but books are canon. As an English teacher, I, I, I gotta go with what's canon and the books came first, so hmm, there you go. There's where I stand on that argument. Um, the next book that I want to show is Octavia E. Butler's Kindred, and I bought this book with the idea that I hadn't read any of Octavia E. Butler's work, and I want to read diverse books. Uh, books this year, and I, I was in the position where I thought, oh, I read diversely, and then I looked at my 2016 reading list, and I was like, uh, no, I don't. I, I mean, I do a little, but I don't think enough of the percentage is diverse. So, there you go. That's what I'm doing. And then, um, speaking of diversity, I have Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie's we Should All Be Feminist, which is a teeny tiny little speech that's based off of her TED Talk, and the cover is beautiful, and I think she is beautiful, and I'm just, I felt really inspired. I bought this the weekend of all the marches, so if that tells you anything. Okay, then um, also um, in that order, I got two graphic uh, volumes. The first one I wanted to show is Monstrous by Marjorie Liu and Santa Takeda, and this is volume one, and I've heard people like it. It's complex, it's 
the art to me looks very beautiful, and I'm excited to read something different. And I think that this is just, it's blurbed by Neil Gaiman on the front, so yeah, that's cool. I'm into that. And then, I'm so late to the party, but I got Saga Volume 1. And I, I just got Volume 1, even though I feel like I'll probably want more based on the reviews that some of the people that I really admire have said. But I'm not going to um, buy it until I know, and then I'll just, you know, hang in there. Patience you know, is a, is a virtue, right? So those were all from the Amazon books. Don't look at the wall behind me. My cats are crazy and they scratch up the wall, if you're wondering. So now the next set of books that I want to show you guys are books that I bought on Book Outlet. And honestly, I don't know that much about all of them. Some of them I bought because I thought they looked nice. Some of them I bought because I like the authors. So let's just get into this. Um, <laughs> speaking of cats, the first book that I have on the stack in the box is Feelings of New York by Jim Toos, and I am a cat lady. I'm a crazy cat lady, so it makes me happy to read and look at pictures of books. I mean, books. Yes, books, but also cats. Um, I got Yarn Mar Yon, Yon Martel's The High Mountains of Portugal. Um, when I, I'm a fan of his writing, and so anytime I can get my hands on a book, I do, and I read it, and I guess this is Scratch and Dent, it's kind of boogered down here, but you know what, it's still readable, it's still fine, it'll be alright. Um, the next book in the stack is My Depression, a picture book by Elizabeth Swartos, um, and I think I got it specifically because it's a picture book, because I'm trying to watch, trying to watch, I'm trying to read books that are different, and then books about depression are interesting to me. Um, I also have Everything is Going to Be Okay, A Book for You or Someone Like You by Bruce Eric Kaplan. You see that? It's kind of hard to see. Okay, um, and it's short and, uh, yeah, like I don't really know, but I want to read it. Um, then I have The Gigantic Beard That Was Evil by Stephen Collins, and I heard Whitney over at Whitney Novels talking about this, and so then I saw it and I thought, ooh, I want to read it. This is interesting to me, and I feel like it's applicable to, you know, what's going on nowadays. Um, I also got, <laughs> there's a theme here, I guess, with all the graphic books. I also got Bad Girls by Jane Yolen, Heidi E. E. Y. Stipple, illustrated by Rebecca Guay. And it's Sirens, Jezebels, Murderesses, Thieves, and Other Female Villains, which I just think the cover is just, ugh. Oh, the cover, right? I so I'm so interested in this, so interested in it, and it's it's mostly just like stories, but there's illustrated bits. So yeah, that's awesome. Um, then I got the Arab of the Future: A Childhood in the Middle East, 1978 to 1984, and um, it's by Riyad Satouf. And I've seen this on Book Outlet for a while. It's a graphic memoir. I'm reading a graphic memoir right now, so I feel like graphic memoirs are like really neat. Um, I also got The Geek Feminist Resolu Revolution by Cameron Hurley, and this was one of Goodreads, um, nonfiction winners, I believe, the Goodreads Award, so I wanted to read it, and also The Geek Feminist Re Revolution, like, that's a title that, that calls to me. Um, I also got What We Saw by Aaron Hartzler. I've heard people who like it and thought, well, when I'm looking for something that's kind of thrilling, there you go, I've got a YA piece that's kind of thrilling like that. Um, I got Robin Sloan's Mr. Penumbra's 24-Hour Bookstore. I've heard about this one, but I don't know much about it, and then the cover is really great, and so I'm really interested in this. Um, let me see. I bought, and I love this cover, I love it so much, The Female Eunuch by Germaine Greer. Um, I have read short pieces in philosophy classes of Germaine Greer's work, but I haven't actually read a work of hers, and so I saw this copy, and it's just, this cover is just, like, amazing. Like, I'm just intrigued, because it says the, fem the female unit all over it. Um, let's see. Next in the pile, I have My Escape from North Korea, A Thousand Miles to Freedom by In Soon Kim. And, again, like, I don't know if you're noticing a theme. Memoirs, graphic graphics, graphic novels, graphic memoirs, women, 
right? Like the mood I was in whenever I was buying these. Um, another one that was listed among the Goodreads uh, Awards, uh, What is Not Yours is Not Yours by Helen Oyemi. And the cover is really beautiful and you know, it won awards, it's got deckled edges. I know people don't like deckled edges. I love deckled edges. I think they're just fancy. But anyway, and again, I'm dealing with diversity here. Um, the Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison. Um, I feel like I need to read this. Uh, I teach AP classes, and so this book is on the list, and I try to read books that are on the AP list so that I have a, a, a better better discussion point where I can talk about books, even if my students haven't talked about them, or if they come up in sample essays. And then the last book in the box, and the biggest one I think, is Susan Dennard's Truth Witch. Like, okay, I'm giving in to the hype. I got Truth Witch. Um, but from what I've heard, and the people who enjoy it, uh, I, I get excited. Like, I watch other booktubers, and if it's someone that is excited about a book that... Uh, I'm usually excited for the book too, then, uh, you know, yay, right? Like, yay, I feel better about that than just reading a review online or whatever because I feel like I have a, more, a closer connection. I don't know. Maybe book, maybe YouTube and BookTube are just kind of deceiving that way. But anyway, so those are all the books that I got for my birthday book haul. I wanted to show you all. Um, my birthday was at the end of January, so... Uh, so let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books or you know anything about these books or like if, if there's a specific order that I should tackle some of these books. I realize I should probably read things that are on, that are already on my list of books to read, like my TBR and, and whatnot and uh, already on my shelf, but some of these are just so exciting that I just... I want to join the conversation on some of these. So, and the topics are just really, I'm just really excited about them. I said that too many, I said the word excited too many times. That's a source. That's what I need. Anyway, so thanks for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.